Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space Disharmony. We are playing the Amoeba on Impossible Difficulty. This episode we're gonna take a nice sized bite out of the uh, Pilgrim Empire, I think. First of all, of course, I wanna have Lupus, their home planet, which I currently can't click on for whatever reason. Is it because they got fleets in it? I can click on this one and I can't click on... Huh. Yeah, I can't click on Lupus. I can't click on Elian. Can't click on that. So it looks like when there's f enemy fleets... Oh no. Okay, I don't get it. What's the logic here? Oh, whatever. Of course. <laughs> there's some... What? Ah, that's gonna keep bothering me. I can click on this and there's fleets orbiting it. I can't click on this and there's fleets orbiting it. And I can click on this. Also can't click on this. But on this. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So uh, probably should forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Okay, we are gonna take Lupus and Dusai, I think. Yeah, I can't, I can, like, I don't want Dusai, but I gotta take it anyway, so why don't we just go ahead and get it over with. There we go. Because uh, it's really not a good system. Just two planets and... Well, it's fully developed, so that's kind of nice. Pilgrims did a good job in that. But, yeah, other than that, just gonna give a little dust and a little science once it's fully converted. Uh, and it cost us four troops. Wow. So I guess we gotta go back and uh, restock the troops. Isn't that nice? Oh, well. I'm gonna station my fleet on Dusai. Because the population will convert faster if you got fleets in the area. Huh, okay. Outside of that, not much changed. Like, nothing changed. Uh, we got the pilgrims blocked out of our empire now. They, uh... Oh, what's that? Clear and present. Um, oh, yeah, we had this shitty event that... Yeah, uh, uh, okay, so we got less movement on our fleets. But that's okay, we don't need to move that much. We just need to hold the choke point here. And the sowers pissing me off. Well, not pissing me off, but they're just kind of starting to go on my nerves with their corporation. Oh, oh, it's just a corporation agreement. Okay, yeah, we, we could... Uh, we could take that. I'm not that interested in this tech, but we could take a cooperation agreement. It's just gonna give us a little extra little extra income, and I'm not too worried about the sowers having extra income, because again, they can't declare war on the Hisho, and they can't declare war on the pilgrims. So they're kind of stuck with whatever benefit they're getting. They can't expand. Now, we got a new resource. That is good. We got a new... Monopoly, that's good. Even though it's just a strategic resource, but never say no to monopolies. Now, how much population we got here? <sighs> it's actually not that irrelevant of a system. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm just already thinking out loud. Like, we. Yeah, but it's just four people. I think we could take it, right? We steal out four people here. Just move it from the tundra, so it won't hurt our dust and science output. Yeah, it's fine. I'd rather uh, have a little less fidzy output and get going with the invasion of the pilgrim planets uh, as compared to having more fidzy. There you go. Don't go on that. Um, as compared to having more fidzy output and... Well, it's not fidzy, it's... What's it? Ah, Jesus, I've been playing too much Endless Legend. It's Food Industry Science Dust. Fid. Yeah, there's no influence in this game. <laughs> oh, man, I got myself confused. Now, they're sending their last couple of ships in here. But really, they're on their knees, basically. They don't have many ships left, just a couple here and there. Uh, the sowers, they got kind of... 
Oh, I can't see their fleets everywhere, and I can't like I can't go in there and scout because then the Hisho will come and swarm my empire. And they're also kind of beaten down. So I wonder why it's not reflected in our points. Like we are third in points, and we're dominating the Hisho and the uh, Pilgrims. Kind of weird the point system sometimes, but whatever. We're gonna. I'm not gonna complain as long as we're winning. Life is good, right? So, uh, we do need to... Uh, actually... Yeah, I'm not gonna show the battle. I just need to uh, close a window here real quick. Where am I? There we go. And back again. Okay, sorry for that. I uh, had to deal with a message I got there. Now, where was I? Uh, killing some pilgrims, yeah. Do I... Yeah. Yeah, I guess we go for the repairs. Because we got a little damage and they're not going to be able to. I'm just curious if I should go for repairs in the first round, but it probably doesn't matter at all. Yeah, there we go. So we got the repairs in. They lasted two turns, that's perfect. <laughs> and now they got even less resistance to offer. Which is fine by me. Now we're running out of useful stuff to pick, actually. Don't need the wit and the labor on this hero. I don't need the healing cost reduction, because I'm never going to lose this hero from this point on, I think. Hmm. I guess the fearless foe is kind of useful. So maybe just take that. But then it's going to get really hard to take a useful skill. Okay, you're just going to sit there. Hmm, we got a small fleet left. What do they have? 600 fighting strength. So we could just go ahead and kill another one of their fleets. Or we could just go ahead and move out. No, we can't move out. Of course we can't. They're probably gonna send all they got to defend Lupus. Which is fine by me. They can go ahead and try. <laughs> it's not gonna work, but you go ahead. They're such troopers. And in four turns, I am gonna get the predictive logistics, which for my taste is one of the most powerful enhancements in this game. Plus two per population on planets, and at this point in the game, when you get the tech on a system like this here, it's gonna just skyrocket your, your uh, industry output. Man, I've not been playing games for for uh, Christmas, and I'm already out of tune, it seems. What's... Didn't I take the turn? Ah, oh, Jesus. Sorry for that, guys. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> uh, I should get back my focus. There we go. Now we can... What's that? I don't want an alliance. Didn't you get that? From me refusing it 20 times? No. Ah, and again, just some weak sauce. So I'm gonna go for the, oh no, we're not gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for the target locked because it does counter their their uh, offensive retreat if they're gonna try it. Not even gonna try that. Okay, that's fine by me. And we we got the fleets in. That is very good. We can now attack 900. Just gonna blow it <laughs> out of the sky. I'm also same reason gonna go for the target locked. And repairs, if we even need that. Whoops. Goodbye. Goody. Now, where's my... There we are. My seizures. And we could already take Lupus. 100%. 50 turns to take it regularly. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just take it. <laughs> oh, I'm loving that. Now, we can uh, send back the space invaders. Maybe on... Where do we send you? I'm gonna send them to Keelum, because Keelum produces a shit ton of food. And that should regenerate our troops kind of fast. Could even make it more... Yeah, don't need it. The hero is gonna add so much to their food output. It's gonna be just fine. Okay, what else do you got here? Nothing, okay, so we can just go ahead and kill a couple of fleets. Just gonna use that for repairs. There we go. They're gonna flee anyway, I think. 
Oh no, they're trying to fight. With what? They don't have weapons. Huh. Okay, whatever. Now we got lupus and... Uh, Okay. What the hell, man? They don't have any population? Seriously? Huh, that's kind of weird. Okay, just gonna build a couple improvements. And they all got hyperscale farms built. That is really weird. Did they... Can they move their... I never played the Pilgrim, so I don't know. I know they can move their homeworld, but can they move their population from one planet to another? If somebody knows, just let me know in the comments, please. Or was it some kind of galaxy-wide event that killed... Nah, it can't be. There's no event that will kill all your population like that. Maybe they built too many sieging fleets. That could actually be the case. They got a lot of those kicking around but you also need regular troops buddy if you can't beat the fleet you can't invade the system it's pretty simple so now let's take actually take a look we got lupus and like we're sitting pretty at half the galaxy let's take a look iso oh come on why can't i see that let me mm, that's pissing me off now i can't click on libra and Ilion? What? Why? The amoeba can see the entire map usually. And I can click on this, of course. That makes sense, because uh, what's different about Gatria compared to Libra? I don't get it. Ah, it's annoying anyway. Well... I'm not sure if we take... Like, if I want to take any of these three systems... I would have to spread out my troops in a way that I'm probably a little uncomfortable to do. Maybe I'll just try and get Iso through a peace treaty. So I can focus on the Hisho. Let's take a look. What's their situation? They got no alliance, so that's good. What are you willing to give me for a ceasefire? Iso, Alliance, and Libra. <laughs> well, that looks kind of nice. Iso, Libra, and Align. So this entire region I could just get for peace treaty. So why, we, why don't we go ahead and do that? And maybe get a little tech on top of that. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, life is good when you're winning that hard. Other faction dislikes you too much to want to give you anything. Okay. <laughs> But you can give me Transwine. I got enough of that, though. They can give me Dust. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. I want some tech. Give me it. Give me it. Okay, well, if you don't wanna, I can wait. It's not a problem for me. It's gonna be a problem for you, buddy. Uh, now I can't leave my... F oh, I forgot about that. I do need to kill their fleets here. Oh well, that can wait. <sighs> Two more turns until we get the predictive logistics. And then I want to shift my focus. And the Hisho, I'm not gonna offer them any peace deal. I'm just gonna take all their empire. They got a couple nice systems. Ooh, 3000. What's it? Falcon 16, all kinetic. Melee range. Falcon 20, also kinetic. 15, oh, missiles. But there's not many, like two. Yeah, that's not really, not really a problem. So we're gonna go for the short circuit for the long range accuracy. We're gonna go for the target locked to put out the most damage in mid-range and then just repair whatever damage they can do in the melee range if there's even anything left at that point and there isn't there we go level up this guy hmm. plus four offense accept dismiss there we go 
And now they're just trickling in their fleets. That's fine. What's here? Another hammerhead? Sure. Let's just be extra, extra, extra safe. That's the German way. Yeah, merge that. 6,000 fighting strength. <laughs> Have fun with that. Um, yeah, we're sitting pretty, I gotta say. To sign need some production project. Uh, deep space facility... They're fully grown, so I'm not going to build any food production. Influence, not really useful out here. Yeah, just get to work on the deep space facility, I guess. Also, how much dust are we making? Oh, minus 50, so maybe maybe I'm going to keep the desert planets for now. Okay, space invaders, go home, please. Why can't I go home? Just remove your stupid fleets, man. That's. I'm gonna go target locked, target locked, and repair. Even though I probably, even if they fight back, they're not. Yeah, <laughs> they couldn't even flee. Wow, kind of sad, really. Go away. Let my people go home, please. Mm, just repair. There you go. There you go. Now it's only one fleet left. Could I? They have zero fighting strength. Yeah, but everybody fought this turn, so I can't do anything. So we are... Don't need the AI labor just now. Probably gonna go for the Graviton Labs. Just to seal the deal, kind of. Or do we... Uh, actually, let's go for the bigger ships. And the Arctic Transformation. And the Desert Transformation, there we go. Yeah, just make the systems we got a little stronger. That's always good, right? Okay, so we can't remove the Space Invaders for now, but that's fine. Are you willing to give us some tech now? Come on, don't be a whiny little you know what ah give me it i want the tag okay well you can suffer some more you can kill some more fleets that's no biggie if that's the way you want to play it you can have that because ah it's so like from a strategic standpoint of course it would make sense to grab these three systems asap and develop them and have their output but we're winning handily as is and this lupus system is a really perfect choke point there even if they're want to fly to Vegis, the pathing won't let them fly directly they have to go over lupus because it's a lot quicker if you go through the uh, connections between the star systems than just to fly through open space so this here makes defending my empire from the pilgrims really convenient. I just gotta park one fleet there, just like we do here, and it's game over for them. They can't enter our empire. If we got these three systems here, that equation's gonna change. So now I gotta worry about three systems to defend, and I gotta switch all my tech output to production, because I need more fleets, and then I gotta worry about dust, and blah blah blah. I don't... like it's too stressful. I don't, I don't like that. I want to have my uh, my fleet focused on two central points, and that's just a lot more convenient. I mean, we could go up with the tanks. That's something we could actually do. Not that we need it, we got plenty of dust stockpiles, so I'm not going to do it for now. But for future dust problems, if our fleet gets bigger, maybe that is a thing we can do. Maybe. Got another fleet here, though. Hmm. Like, I could have one fleet on Lupus. Yeah, but any fleet I park on Isho is gonna be wasted. So I do need to take Isho, and then... Yeah, maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the Pilgrims, because... <laughs> yeah, why not? Right? Why not? 
Okay, let's take another turn. And hopefully now we can go ahead and get rid of those... Ah, oh, yeah, finally. Finally. Go away, please. Target locked, target locked. That should be enough, even though if they... Yeah, we just gave him a little damage, that's fine. Ah, finally, let's get the ships out here quickly. Yeah, because they got zero troops left, and they're not going to replenish their troops on Lucas. Goody. Now, how far along is Dusai? 46%. This outpost has already enjoyed a golden age. Ooh, what's that? Didn't know about golden ages. Oh, shit, I forgot we got the predictive logistics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get that built in all the colonies. Just put it here. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna make so much industry. And then probably we could sustain another fleet. If we just switch one or two systems to uh, dust production exclusively, that should actually solve any dust problem we could get. Oh, I like this moment of the game. So in a couple turns, our industry production is going to skyrocket. And that should spell doom for all our <laughs> enemies, actually. Go away. I don't like you. Just going to use them as repair. I'm not even going to bother putting three tactics, because, yeah, whatever they can do, they are going to die against our fleet. What's happening here? Why is there... Oops. Oh, they can't colonize that yet? Oh, that's cute. Ah, I do need a second sieging fleet. I do need so many fleets to actually take the Empire to where it belongs. And even though we are playing the peaceful race, I think it's gonna end up be another expansion victory, because <laughs> what else can we do from this point, right? We can offer alliances to all of them and then sit there and count our victory points? Come on. We're just gonna take the Empire. Uh, take the take the galaxy and that's it. Uh, maybe I'll move you to the front lines. Yeah, it's fine. I wanna know what's on Isho and I wanna block out the pilgrims. And that's gonna give us a nice path from Kilom, Noveris, Lupus, Isau, so we can just put our sieges there. Uh, let's sort by production. Could actually start building our own invasion fleet on Rukbad. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's just start another fleet of invaders on Rukbad. Should be just fine. Yeah, there's two lava planets in here. We don't have the arid transformation yet. It's kind of sad because we would love to do this. Um, not to do this, to turn this arid planet into a lava planet. So it could actually be helpful and productive. You guys go to the uh, nut scrap, disband them, put them in the hangar. I got the illusion that it they repair faster in a hangar. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So for now, we do need 10 population to repair them. Let's monitor that and see how fast they actually replenish. Oh, come on, guys. Just give it up. Just give it up. Not even gonna... There we go. Just repair. So our fleets are perfectly well. Because I'm... Uh, little neurotic in that sense. I do need to have my fleets fully repaired all the time so I can feel well and uh, <laughs> yeah that's just the way I, I am. Good, uh, there's actually not that much to do. I need to wait for the predictive logistics and just need to camp out here and uh, kill kill some newbies because what the hell is that supposed to be? A couple falcons with melee weapons? Oh no, you got mid-range weapons, wow! And some long-range, ooh, that's nice. So that could be useful if you put together more than four. But you didn't, so it's not very useful. Oh man, look at that. It's like an ant trail. They're just going there and there's no sugar to transport home, man. There's just a fleet that's gonna squash 
every one of your ships. Because once you're here, the system is blocked, you can't leave. I don't get it. What's the AI trying to accomplish with that? Really don't get it. Oh, well. We got this weak fleet. Oh, there's another weak fleet. Yeah, just go ahead and uh, kill that. There we go. That's good. Pulgrims, how are you doing? You still got 1500 points. Really? They must have, like, the best tech. So that means I want some tech. You still not wanna... Okay, well. Have it your way. <laughs> I don't mind. I could sit here all day and not keep killing your ships and keep taking your systems. That is not a problem for me. In fact, I actually enjoy it. Okay, so this guy also is running out of useful stuff to pick. Don't need the savvy businessman. Like now we got the corporate treats, uh, traits and those really don't help much. I guess I'll take this. I don't know. Doesn't really matter for now. Because all the skills he can offer are kind of shitty. I can't see this system now, really. That's what you're gonna tell me. Even It's even in my influence radius, but uh, in my sight radius of this fleet, and I can't see it. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. 16% owner to this. 54% owner to this. Not gonna spend 3k dust on this fleet. Now let's take a look how much... Yeah, so we re recovered four troops in one turn. That's pretty nice, huh? So it's gonna take us another two turns to fully recover and then we can send out our sieging fleets and take Isho. And then probably offer a peace deal for these three, for Libra, Thea and Elion. And that's basically a dead Pilgrim Empire. Yeah, I'm just I just can't be bothered to take all their systems. Maybe if we get the bigger ships, maybe that could be a thing. Like once we got this Proteus, maybe I'm not gonna make a battleship first, but I'm gonna make a huge like sieging ship. So we could actually siege the regular way and just park them on the systems and forget about it. That could actually be a thing. Huh. We'll see. But for now we don't have the dust to sustain it. Like we could... I do need a second sieging fleet so I can finally start taking some Hisho planets. And that will get expensive fast. So... Oh, Jesus. Don't flee. That will get expensive very fast so we, we can't build a big fleet. Like, I could probably destroy this small fleet here. Yeah, that's probably something I will do. Just scrap this here, so we got a little extra space. And then redistribute my... well, I don't have that many ships. Yeah, I focused on science a little too heavy, I guess, but in my opinion it really paid dividends. Like, I never had a game on Impossible go this smoothly. Like there wasn't even a hiccup in the road. Th like there's one point where we fought the Hisho and Pilgrims that seemed a little dicey. No, I'm still in one alliance. Seemed a little dicey, but overall it just went really, really smoothly. And it's not like we got an unfair starting point. Like we, we got one good system here, the Rukbat system. And that's basically it. Oh, well, Nusa Khan's also not bad. Just contributing a lot of fit overall. But outside of that, we, we don't... Like, there's the, the Sowers. They had a really good start with all those big systems. And the Pilgrims, kind of similar to us. The Hisho really got screwed. But, yeah, that happens. But outside of that, it's, n it's not like there's any huge factor that we... We had nice defendable borders, but then again, the... Pilgrims started here on Lupus, and they could have expanded towards us. And the... Uh, where's the Hisho starting planet, actually? Is it Quorum? 
yeah it is the hydrogen rings i think that is their starting system so the focus on tech really paid off like once we got our bigger ships out it was just smooth sailing right i mean i'm talking like the game is over but it actually isn't over yet but still we uh, we're doing very very well and i'm pretty sure we're gonna take this home just a matter of how we do it and uh, especially a matter of how fast we do it now block here go ahead and kill some nerds there we go go away okay so now we're blocking ISO and I can still not look in the ISO system it feels like it's a bug or is there a tech that prevents me from looking in it maybe that's the case because I can't look on any system except for Gatria yeah it feels like I could look in all the I can look in all the solar systems yep feels either there's a bug or probably there's a tech that um, an improvement that you could build so the enemy can't see your system probably the later is the case because I can't imagine that being a bug so it's such a specific bug no 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 it doesn't make sense probably there's a tech and I'm not aware of it because I never built the system defense structures for me they're just kind of useless Anyway, so uh, we're sitting pretty still. We are expanding towards the ISO planet. And once we recovered our invaders, we're going to go ahead and take that system. Still sitting strong on lupus. No way the pilgrims can break through. So the pilgrims are dealt with. Now it's time to start coming up with a strategy to kill some Hisho. And that's going to be a little easier because we only need two fleets. Like one coming from here and one coming from here. So we don't get swarmed. That's basically all that is there is to it. So probably I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna figure out the strategy next episode, and this should be the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it, because I really enjoyed playing it. And uh, if you did, well, you know what to do, right? I'm not gonna remind you every time. <laughs> uh, you guys are pretty good about leaving likes and engaging in the comments recently. So a big thank you for that. Uh, it really. It's really amazing that you you do that and it's it's really uh you you probably can't imagine it if you're not doing those videos yourself but you know it, it takes a quite a time and quite some work and if you get feedback and people really appreciate the videos and people enjoy watching them and take home some strategy advice and even if people get into these games which i personally think if you're a gamer and if you like strategy endless legend and endless space are just really great and uh, endless legend being the more complex game and endless space being a little simpler but both are really fun to play and so i'm really glad that that's happening and that i'm learning about it through you telling me and yeah it, it just really means a lot so thanks for that i um, just have to say it sometimes even though you guys probably think it's cheesy or it's not necessary or it's not uh, it's not sincere it is it's i'm really happy every time i see a comment or see see the likes on my videos that it's kind of the reason i do this stuff right anyway enough ranting enough babbling thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it also make sure you enjoy your christmas holidays they're over sooner than you like so uh, savor it enjoy it be lazy eat a lot make uh yeah that's basically all my advice <laughs> all right see you around for the next episode you have a wonderful day until then goodbye